All right, we are on the inner loop of the Beltway in morning rush hour traffic right now. It's about six o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. So let's see how we do. I was gonna record earlier, but there was, basically it was weird, as a dumpster that was open on the back of a truck and it was throwing out its trash all over the place. I was having to drive manually so I wouldn't hit some of the, the trash that was being thrown out. Look at that. There's a giant mattress. Did you see that? I don't that, I don't think that came out of the dumpster. But it was literally littering all over the place. The whole it was just throwing trash everywhere. It's right up there. It's up up underneath the bridge. I don't know if you can see it. I just don't want to get near it. Because I don't want to get trash over all of my vehicle. Or run into stuff. Get stuff thrown out at it. Alright, we're on 2019.16.2. And we've done this before. The most recent time I did this video, where we're going from Virginia into Maryland on the inner loop, is when it was raining very, very heavily. Actually, there's a, there are a few drops coming down right now. Let me put on the auto wipers. There we go, auto wipers are on. See somebody shopping there in the back seat. That's, that's me. I don't know if you can see. That's Denise back there. All right, you can see everyone passing me, like I'm standing still. Welcome to rush hour traffic. You can see these cars just come flying up. I mean, I'm going 64 and a 55, but everyone's just passing me like I'm not even driving, like I'm asleep at the wheel. All right, so I guess this is gonna be, a, this may end up being a rainy video like, like the last one. The last time it was pouring. If you look at, on the video I did on the DC Beltway search up the channel, it was just pouring rain. I think if you type in pouring rain, it, it, you'll, you'll see that video. It's just a very light rain, but this could cause some accidents. Actually, one thing I've noticed too with autopilot, let me know in the comments if you've noticed this, but I don't ever see it slowing down for poor driving conditions. I just see it tell me that autopilot's not available if the conditions are really, really bad. But I don't ever see it making, co co compensating for poor driving conditions by driving slower. I don't ever see that. Maybe in future versions they'll do that, but I think they definitely need to do that. Because that could be causing a lot of accidents. If you're driving, like, you know, if I set this thing for, I don't know what I set it for, like a, a nine miles an hour over the speed limit, but if it was pouring torrential rain, it would still let me do that. That would probably be too fast for the conditions. I hear somebody moving around back there. What's all that? What's all that? There's Denise, she's in the video. She's trying to sleep. We're on a long distance trip now. We're driving 12 hours up to Vermont. So I, I might have a lot of videos because of this trip. Still see the sunrise up there. Well, the colors in the sky, anyway. Where are we going to church? It's saying Aberdeen. That's it. Is that the Starbucks rest stop? It's not a Starbucks. I think it's a Dunkin' Donuts coffee, right? Or something like that. All right, you see, I've got set for 64, but I'm only going 56, and it's not doing the auto lane change for me. It's not real sensitive like that. You know, I would think that it would change my lane into, you know, the, into the left lane because I'm going almost 10 miles, and then now, it's, now it's saying it's gonna do it. 10 miles an hour under what it's set. But these are bad conditions. Actually, this is rush hour traffic, it's raining. Uh, see, it's not, it, it actually probably should slow down. I was thinking there for a minute that it actually had a brain and it was going to slow me down, but I guess not. This is probably one of the most difficult parts right here where the, or this 70, 270 spur merges with the beltway. It's right here. See all these cars coming in? Look, there's like an SUV right here. Whoa. Okay, they didn't hit me. That's good. 
And then this is the part where it gets really twisty. Starts to get to a couple bank turns. And there's not that much traffic here. A lot of times this is the area of worst traffic right here. truck is over the line. Look, they're definitely over the line. What? Whoa, that is almost tipped. Did you see that? I think it's top heavy. It almost looked like it was going to tip. That truck is so top heavy already. If you make a sudden maneuver like that, it looks like it's going to tip over. Again, it's not real smooth in the corners here. It's jerking, jerks the car around. That's just new to, to these more recent versions of software. It didn't used to do that. Maybe it's being more accurate, I don't know. But it's just not as smooth as it used to be. Just about stopped. Overall, it's been a pretty good drive. That, like I said, that truck, if you rewind this, go back to that where that truck was, that truck was definitely over the line, and I don't think autopilot was doing anything. I mean, and I was right with that truck. I could have sped up, potentially, if that truck had slowed down a little bit and maybe even hit the truck. I don't know. I don't know if it would let me do that. I don't think so. Here we go. I'm getting back up to this truck. Oh, there's a trash truck. With the I'm right behind it now. That's the dumpster that has trash flying out of it. And I don't think Autopilot's gonna respond to that. Uh, maybe all the trash is already flown out of it. Like I'm passing this top heavy truck now and there's, uh, let's see if there's any trash coming out. I hope not, I don't, I don't wanna have to swerve out of the way. Okay, they're, they're changing lanes, good. Okay, you can, you can hear that dumpster banging. It looks like all the trash is already out of it. I guess that's how they get rid of the trash. Just leave the top open and drive fast on the interstate. And then they make everybody else pick up the trash later. So yeah. All right, this top heavy truck is past me again. Look, it, the lane changed with no signal. And they're not even completely over yet. Like, now this person is turning in front of me. We are about this three and a half miles to Baltimore. Is that right? So we have to get off. And this was tricky. Last time we did this in the rain, I don't think that Navigator Autopilot made the lane changes correctly for me to get off. I think I had to take over, if I remember correctly. And we'll see if it can do it this time.
Look at all that traffic in the other direction. I'm glad we're not going that way. the lane change looks clear over there and yeah, it's going for it no problem Since it already made that one change, maybe it will be able to just wait. Yeah, maybe it will be able to do this itself without me having to take over. I'm getting close. Usually, everyone's kind of jockeying for position here as we get to the exit because so many people get on the 95 North. A lot of people just cut in at the last second. Right now, there doesn't seem to be too much traffic. going to change lanes now. Right, no problem, no problem. Alright, that's good. So it, it, it's done it itself this time. You can see there's really poor lane markings right here. But it still it seems to be locked on. Alright, well that's just about the end of this video. It seemed to be fine. Look at all these trucks stopped here. They always seem to stop and I guess sleep for a while in this area. Well let me know how you think it did. And we will make another one next time we get another software update on this part of the beltway. Look at all these trucks. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications. We'll see you in the next video.